Want to be super strong and super stealthy at the same time? Well, today I present to you guys my stealth Netrunner build that's going to have you flying through this game like nothing before. Let's go ahead and talk about it. As of uh, this is Lazybone, and today, guys, I bring you the Netrunner build you guys want. Now, I have two Netrunner builds. I have one that's stealth focused, which is this one right here. I also have another Netrunner build that's going to be combat focused, which is going to be a Netrunner combat focus, but that's going to be a different one. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out our solo build, I highly recommend you guys check that out. It gives you a different play style. That's if you guys like weapons. This one in particular, it's mostly hacking, and it kind of reminds me like the Deus Ex. This is kind of like the Deus Ex build. It's going to be a combat style driven with very limited amount of, of weapon usage, but it's going to be primarily mostly hacking. Now we're going to be focusing primarily on three different attributes or two different traits. So when you start up your character, as you guys recall, all the all of the attributes are going to be at three, 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 three. That's going to be a total of 15 attributes. That means you're going to have an additional attributes of seven. And these seven attributes that you have when you create a character, you're going to want to make sure you place these on the following ones. You want to make sure you place it, it doesn't matter where you place them because the ideal here is to make sure you have your body, your intelligence, and your cool at 20, 20, 20. So basically, you want to put those seven attributes into body, intelligence, and cool. So when you guys have your complete build already and you collected all the attributes that are available, you're going to want your screen to look like the one I'm showing you right here, which is 20 to the body, 20 to intelligence, and 20 to cool. This is extremely important that you get these to 2020, and I'll explain why once we dive into the video. That means you're going to have five attributes remaining and these attribute five attribute points could go into anything that you want either reflex technical ability uh wherever you guys want to go ahead and put these so i'm gonna leave those up to you i don't want to you know some people are probably going to put them up for reflex to get guns some people are probably put it into technical ability for some type of crafting but overall in general these are the main focal points you want to focus on now in addition to these main uh, points we're going to go into each and every one of them and I'm going to tell you guys what perks are necessary, where you need to spend your perk points, and then we're going to be talking about what type of play style we're going to expect for this particular, uh, you know, for this particular build. So let's go ahead and dive into the perk points. In regards to the perk points, guys, we're going to be focusing on six different sets of trees. We're going to be focusing on stealth, breach protocol, quick hacking, athletics, annihilation, and street brawler. Those are going to be the main concepts. Now, I'm going to talk about what weapons we'll be using uh, after we go over the perks, why I recommend those weapons and why you should focus on those weapons. So let's start off with cool. So for the cool guys, we're going to go into stealth. All right, so for the stealth category, guys, we're going to start investing one point into silent and deadly, which is going to increase damage dealt when you're silent. We're also going to be picking up the dagger dealer. We're also going to be picking up this one right here, which is the venomous fang. All nice have poison. The reason we're picking this one up is because we're also going to be picking this one, the inevitable. This is going to deal 20 more damage to enemies if, uh, affected by poison. And this one's extremely important, and you'll see why. Then we're going to go ahead and pick a rattlesnake. Enemies affected by poison are slowed. Once again, extremely important. Then we're going to go to cheat death. When your health drops below 50, reduce all incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds. Really important, especially if you get spotted and you get shot. Then, yeah, you want to make sure you have that one. We're going to go with the Nujutsu. Uh, crouch attacks from stealth with melee weapons deal 100 more damage. Not a requirement, but if you guys are going to be using you know, melee weapons like I'm going to suggest, then you want to go with this one. If you want to avoid not using melee weapons, you just want to use a gun, you don't have to pick this one up. Then, guys, we have the Restorative Shadows. While in stealth, increase health regen by 25%. We're going to go with Stunning Blow, Quick Melee Attacks. Once again, the melee ones I picked here are because I do recommend having a melee weapon in your arsenal for this particular build. But if you don't want to have a melee weapon, you don't have to pick this one up. Then we're going to go with the Cutthroat. Throwing knives deal 60 more damage, 100% needed. Then we're going to go with the Neurotoxin. Damage from poison is doubled. We're going to go with Ghost. Detection time is increased by 40%. Really important, so make sure you keep that stealth. And then we're going to go from the Shadows upon entering combat. Critical chances increased by 50% for 7 seconds. So if you guys are noticing what we're doing here within the stealth option, we're getting a lot of stuff that's going to give us a lot of damage when we're using poison. And we're also getting a lot of damage and a lot of benefits when we're going stealth. Once again, focusing primarily on stealth and Netrunner. Now we're going to go to the intelligence. Now intelligence, we're going to do 
breach protocol, and then we're also going to do quick hack. So first and foremost, we want to do big sleep, but this is going to pretty much disable cameras. Not extremely important, but sometimes cameras could get a little very annoying and that you get detected. So you want to make sure you, you take them offline as quickly as you possibly can. We're going to go with mass vulnerability, which is going to unla uh, unlock a mass vulnerability uh, de uh, demon, which reduces the physical resistance of all enemies in the network by 30% for six minutes. I mean, six minutes is a lot, guys. You'll be able to do a ton of damage. And then we have massive vulnerability, which upgrades the massive vulnerability demon, reducing the resistance for enemies for the network for 30%. Another really important one. Then we got turret tam tamer. This is going to be extremely important because turrets are annoying just as cameras. The only problem is that turrets actually shoot bullets and you want to make sure you avoid them. There are a couple places to have them. So they're a bit annoying. These are actually going to turn them into friendlies for six minutes. Now, in addition to this one, we're also going to be picking up this turret one, which is turret shutdown, which is going to shut them down for six minutes. So either or, you know, I mean, you don't have to have both, but you can, you know, theoretically use both of them. So that's going to be up to you guys. I picked both of them just because I, you know, turrets are a bit annoying. And then we're going to have a head start automatically upload the first Damien in the list and start, you know, the start of breach protocol. So when you enter a breach protocol, it's going to automatically give you that one slot early. Then we have the extended network interference automatically highlights nearby access points really important and very effective because it's going to give you a head start to know where to go, where to disable things and where to infiltrate the enemy. And then guys, we have uh, uh, the recall one This is going to give the ice pick de uh, demon reduced all quick hack costs by an additional one ram. So it's going to cost you less. And the last one we're going to be picking up is the buffer optimizer increases the duration of the demon effect by 100%. So really really important now for the quick hacks guys we're gonna this is where we're gonna be doing a lot of quick hacking and majority of you guys are gonna find that these are gonna be very helpful due to the fact that if you see the gameplay i was showing you guys a little bit earlier i use this a lot because it helps out a lot especially when you're fighting multiple enemies so we're gonna start off with the first one which is the uh, bloodware quick hack deals 30 percent more damage why not right we're gonna go with increase quick hack duration by 50 percent. so that means it's gonna last longer and then we're going to go with quick hacking can now deal critical hit based on the critical chance and critical damage status. So that means whatever critical chance, critical damage you have in your status, that's how much damage is going to be dealing. Extremely important. And then we're going to be talking about that, you know, why it's important and then what you should be putting on your weapons a little bit later. Then we have this one, which is plague quick hacking that spreads can jump to three additional targets. So that means if there's people around and they are just chilling, you're going to be able to hit them with this and you know, it's going to attack all the other three that are around them. Really important. And it's going to fare in perfectly with another one. We're going to then we have Hacker Overlord unlocks uh, crafting specs for epic quick hacks. This is ex important because you're going to want to make sure you get your guys to legendary. Now, I just picked up the uh, this one right here, which is the, uh, the one that unlocks the epic because I already had some blues and greens. But if you don't have greens, you don't have blues, then what I would suggest is picking up the other ones that let you convert it into rare, you know, common, uncommon, uh, to, to be able to upgrade them. If you already have blues, greens, I mean, you know, greens and blues, you just pick this one up and you'll pick up the legendary one, which I believe is this one that uh, unlocks crafting specs for legendary quick hacks, okay? Now, we're also going to be doing the forget-me-not, which eliminates a target affected by the quick hack instantly recovers one ram. So if you kill someone, you're going to get that ram back, which allows you to, you know, use another ram, right? And then last but not least, guys, we're going to do the diffusion, which goes in perfectly with this one. Remember, with the plague, that's going to allow you guys to quick hack spread distance to uh, it's going to increase the, the, the distance of how much people are affected. Basically, the radius of that effect is going to cost on that enemy. Last but not least, optimization reduces the cost of quick hack by one ramp and one unit. These are the ones I want to highlight. There are some other ones that are still pretty good that are going to help you keep more ram and get more ram back. But overall, in general, these are the ones you want to go with, uh, you know, if you have very limited amount of perk points. After that, guys, we did the intelligence. Now it's time for us to take a look at the body. So for the body, guys, we're going to be going into all three trees. Now, theoretically, you could just do two and not do the street brawler. The reason I'm mentioning the street brawler is because I feel blunt weapons work really well for this build, especially if you get spotted and just wham someone in the, you know, in the head. It's going to allow you to get a couple of things back. Like, you know, we'll talk a little bit once we get into that tree, but. As far as the athletics, we're going to be using this primarily uh, for being able to get stuff back. So we have here health slowly regenerates during combat. Really important, right? We want to get our health back. We're going to be doing invincible, increases max health by 
Once again, the more health we have, the better. We're going to do increased melee damage by 20%. That's This is where the blunt weapon comes into play. Then we're going to do human shield, increased armor by 20% when grappling an enemy. Really important because you, once you grapple them, you want to make sure you have armor in case you're turning we knock you off. Then we have indestructible, reduce all incoming damage by 10%. Why not, right? Uh, even though we're not going to be taking too much damage, you can theoretically skip this one, but it's always good to have it, right? Then we have steel shell, which is an increase your armor by 10%. We have the rock. Enemies cannot knock you down. Once again, really important. Sometimes you get stunned, you get knocked down by surprise. You don't want that to happen. Then we have cardio cure. Health regeneration uh, regenerates 25% faster as you move. Really important because you are going to be moving when you're stealth and you want to make sure that when you're moving, you're getting your health back in case you get spotted or shot. Then we have this one. Health regenerates up to 100 of max health outside of combat. Usually when you're stealth, you're not theoretically in combat because people aren't spotting you so you're going to be using this very effectively then we have true grit increases maximum uh, stamina by 30 percent not that important but i like to have my stamina up a lot especially if i'm using blunt weapons you want to make sure you have your stamina not required if you're not going to be using the, the, the you know the, the blunt weapons but if you are you want to pick this one up then we have like a butterfly dodge uh, does not drain stamina so as you guys know you could dodge in this game if you didn't know double tap b left or right up and down it's going to dodge bullets and that's actually pretty effective because you can get stuff back with them. Now, you also have a uh, Dog of War, which increases the health regen in combat by 30%. And then we have Marathon Sprint does not drain stamina, really important. And then we have Health Regen activates 90% faster during combat. So really important. As you guys hear, we're picking a lot of health, a lot of stamina uh, rebuffs, and a lot of health regen. So that is why we invested these amount of points into athletics. Annihilation. Now, this one in particular, guys, is because one of the primary weapons we're going to be using is a shotgun and we're investing a lot of points in this one because what's going to happen is you're going to probably be able to kill the majority of enemies but there's going to be one annoying enemy that just does not want to die now to kill this enemy you want to have a powerful weapon and what's going to allow us to have that powerful weapon is we're going to go with the most powerful weapons we can find which is a shotgun and a blunt blunt weapon and that's where we're investing a couple points in here so we're investing a uh, hail of bullets, which is going to increase the damage to the shotgun. So 10%. We're going to go with in your face, reduce the reload time of the shotgun. Shotguns are very slow to reload. So you want to make sure you get that reload as quickly as you can. We're going to go with massacre increases critical damage with the shotgun by 45%. Really important. We're going to bulldozer increases critical chance with the shotgun by 10%. So right there, we're just picking up 55 really easily. Increased damage to the torso by 20%. Sometimes when you shoot a shotgun, the pellets might miss the head. You hit that torso. You want to make sure you're getting that damage. Then we have unstoppable. Dismembering an enemy increases the rate by 10%, 8 seconds. The reason I'm picking this up because there is a shotgun that every time you shoot it, dismembers enemies. And this is going to be really important. And if you guys want to see the location of that shotgun and how you get it, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to put that video together for you guys. But this is really important because every time you dismember someone, you're going to be getting more damage. And then we have this one, which is popping up. Shotguns have a 50% higher chance of dismantling enemies. So if you pair this with the shotgun I'm mentioning, that's going to allow you to get 100% every time you shoot someone. It's going to pretty much shred them in pieces, and you're going to be picking up the ball. Now, the last thing we're going to be going into the Street Brawler, this is only if you guys are using blunt weapons, okay? Only. So we're only picking up a couple here, which is Flurry increases damage from combat with blunt weapons by 50%. Uh, we're going with Rush. Successfully attacking with a blunt weapon regenerates 5% of health for 5 seconds. Then we have uh, Trash, a stronger attack with blown weapons, reduces target armor by 30% for 10 seconds. And the last one is Frenzy, uh, defeating an enemy increases damage with a blown weapon. So that's the reason we're going by it. Now, if you guys recall earlier in the video, I did say that the reason why we want to invest 20 points here and 20 points there is because we want to get the skill that comes with the 20 points. So as you guys know, when you hit 20 points in Athletic, you're going to be able to unlock this one. Which, if you guys want to know how to get your athletic to 20 super duper fast, super easy, I'll leave a link in the description and in the annotation so you guys can check out that video. When entering combat, at combat armor and resistance is increased by 10% for 10 seconds. Really important. Okay, so that's going to be very helpful. Now, if you guys notice here for annihilation, once we hit 20 here, it's going to go, this is membering enemies reduces weapon recoil by 50%. That's why we didn't pick up no recoil. We didn't pick this one up because we're going to be able to pick this one up really easily. And then for Street Brawler, once you hit 20 on the Street Brawler, increase critical damage by 60% for 10 seconds after entering combat, which is really, really important. So that's going to be really good. Now for Intelligence, 
So 20% here, guys, is going to be uh, transmigration. Increases the breach time of breach protocol by 50%. Not that extremely needed, but it's still pretty effective. And the quick hack, increased RAM recovery rate by 50%. This one's really needed because that means you're going to be able to use the quick hack very often. And for cool, you're going to go with the stealth, which is the only one we're picking up from this tree, which is an increased duration of poison applied to enemies by 5 seconds. So as you guys recall, we went with the poison build, and I'm going to explain why it's extremely important. Yes, the knives will give us poison, but we're going to be able to pick up poison from somewhere else. So now let's check out the weapons I recommend for this build. So as you guys see here, this is my character. Now my character, we're going with the Carnage Shotgun. This is going to be uh, not the one I recommend. Like, I mean, any shotgun will be really good here. But what you want to do here is you want to look for one that's going to apply you know, poison, okay? You're going to be looking for a weapon that applies poison. This one in particular does not apply poison at the current moment, but if you have a shotgun that's able to apply poison, you want to go with that one, okay? Another thing you want to do here is you want to make sure that you put the mods I mentioned. So you want to make sure you're applying the crunch. You want to make sure you're applying the pacifier because what that's going to do, guys, it's going to increase your critical damage and it's going to increase your critical chance. Now, your crit damage and your uh, your crit damage and your crit chance so what makes this important is remember when we checked out the tree where it said that you were going to hack an enemy that value is going to be inputted based on what you have here on your crit chance and your crit damage so we have plus 35 plus 24 so that's going to take it into account and apply it now another thing i'm recommending here is to use a knife because we are using a throwing knife and in order for you guys to use a throwing knife you have to have a knife now the only caveat to this is that every time you throw the knife you're going to lose that knife. So you want to make sure you have a lot of knives in your inventory so you can, you know, equip them. I wish they would change this and let you pick up the knife after you throw it and kill someone with it. But as of right now, that's not a thing. I hope they patch it and fix it. The last thing we're going to be mentioning is a blunt weapon. Now, so a blunt weapon, you could go with anything like a, like this one right here. That's a cell pipe. You could go with a bat, the baseball bat. And you could go, I believe this one. No, this is a katana. So the baseball bat. Uh, this is currently what I have. Okay, so I'm, I'm I'm trying to get the gold the golden bat, which I'll have a video on how to get it pretty soon. But that's what I would be using here. And of course, you want to apply the same amount of mods that we applied you know, that we applied here. You want to apply them to the bat. Anything that gives you critical damage, critical shot, or anything that applies poison, you want to make sure you do that. Now, another thing I want to recommend is that you're able to also apply mods that are going to increase your damage output. Okay, so you want to look for anything that increases damage. And for example, this predator one, it's going to increase the damage against uh, high target enemies. Remember, these are very difficult to hack because they won't go down with one hack. So you want to make sure you have anything that does that. And you also want to go ahead and go with anything that increases your armor or increases your critical chance. That's where you want to go with weapons. So once again, if you're going with a full on no blunt weapon, then you want to just have a really good shotgun, some throwing knives, and you're pretty much set and a blunt weapon. If you want to just go with a blunt weapon, shotgun, and throwing knives, you could do that. Or if you just want to go with double shotguns and a throwing knife, you're able to do that because it's all going to be dependent on your tree. Now that you have the weapons, you have the armor, you have everything set, one last thing I want to talk to you guys about is your cyberware. This is going to be extremely important, and it's going to kind of finalize this build and make it completely perfect. So what you want to do here is we're going to be going into the operating system. It's going to be extremely important that your operating system has the NetWatch NetDriver MK5. If you want to know where to get the legendary variant of this, check out my video of where you're able to get it, where you're able to the best shops are at. I'll link in the description in the comment down below. I don't want to stretch this video too long because it's already pretty long. So you want to pick this one up. The thing you're looking for here is to get one with that has the most mods. And remember I said earlier, you want to craft these mods to legendary because if you're going to be running this build, you want to have the best of the best. So let me show you the ones I have. I have Cont uh, Contagion which is going to, it's a non-lethal, but it deals damage and it applies poison. So basically all the benefits we're getting from the poison tree from the knife place, it's going to be applied to this, okay? In addition to that, it's going to affect people in a radius of 8 meters and each sequential target, so each target in addition to the one you, you, you tagged, it's going to get 30 more damage of that poison, which is really pretty cool. So that I think that's that's really awesome. And the fact that in addition to that, it jumps from different people, you're going to see how effective that is in the gameplay that I showed you guys, how it bounces off from different people and kills them really fast. The other one I have here is Cyber uh, Psychosis. 
this is going to pretty much it's a, this is a lethal one and it's going to cause people to attack each other so you, the enemy's going to attack the other person so it's really cool it's pretty good for jones as well then we're going to go with detonate grenade this is actually pretty good especially if they're mobs together and you see like a like a, a gas container or something or propane or anything like that you press this one they're going to pull out a grenade blow themselves up and blow everybody that's around them then we have suicide another really effective one especially if there's multiple ads so you can pretty much time this so you know pretty much do the suicide wait till the bar fills up and you're going to do a takedown on someone and you don't want to get spotted by the guy standing next to him do this one and you guys should be golden then we're going to do with ping this is uh, this one i love because this is going to show you where all the enemies are at really important and then we have short circuit this is going to deal moderate damage to the target and it's going to be pretty much put them to sleep it's kind of like an emp so really really important those are the ones i have you can go with other ones but these are the ones i would recommend another thing you want to make sure you have that i wish i had a better one i, I didn't i should have gone and got it from the uh vendor because on my video my shopping video i have the legendary variant of this one but this is the one i want to recommend so this is going to be the accelerator so what this is going to do is that anytime you get spotted okay this one's only 30 percent. i believe the legendary one is 60 percent if i'm correct uh but this if i'm if i'm correct let me know in the comment section down below if you guys already have it but what this is going to do it's going to slow time by 30 30 percent for two seconds so really important because if you get detected that time that gets slowed has it gives you enough time to react or pull out your gun pull out your blunt weapon pull out your knife and throw it really effective really important but i would recommend highly to pick up the legendary the last thing i want to recommend is to go to the ocular system and make sure you guys have this mod added which is the trajectile analysis which is going to increase increase headshot bonus damage by 50 percent really important if you're going to be using your shotgun you want to make sure you get that 50 percent why not right and that pretty much is everything you need within this build the other one i would probably recommend is picking this one up the projectile launcher and applying the tranquilizer rounds in case you're in a sticky situation you can just shoot that and it's going to put everybody to put you know people to sleep or the one individual sleep it's a really effective to get out of cover and that one's that's about it guys i'm pretty sure if you put this build together you guys are going to have a wonderful time hacking it's going to remind you a lot of deus ex and you're going to have a ton of fun let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see the netrunner combat build which is primarily focusing on using weapons and using the netrunner skills this is mostly stealth and netrunner we also have more other builds coming away if you want to see a melee build let me know we're going to see who comments the most that's probably the build we're going with next i hope you guys are enjoying our server point 27 coverage if you are make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching and most importantly make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications so you won't miss when our next cyberpunk video goes live thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you guys later